People talk about scholars today who spend their lives calling towards Allah. You don't even know them personally sometimes. And they want to say things, they want to type things, they want to put things on the internet. And wallahi, they don't realize that abuse makes you a person who has distance from Allah. What if that person is the slave of Allah? I know people, if they cry tears against the abuse that someone has served them, Allah will not allow those tears to come down for no reason. You will pay a price. Be careful when someone is bleeding from their heart, whether it is a spouse or a child or a parent or a friend or whoever it may be. If someone is bleeding in their heart because of something you did, Allah watches that and Allah makes it happen and come. Sometimes when we are bleeding, we say, oh Allah, don't punish this person because of how they have made me feel. Why do we have to say that? Because if Allah's punishment comes, sometimes they might wipe out someone who's close to you because of how they made you feel. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us not from among the abusers while we are talking about how to deal with those who abuse us verbally.